My name is Andrew Steele and I'm Global Head of Sustainable Finance at Fitch Ratings, the Global Rating Agency, and um, I'm based in London in the UK. This year's summit theme explores the value of corporate governance. What are your key takeaways from this year's Chairman Summit? I think the summit's been very useful in exploring some of the ideas about the way in which governance requirements for boards are changing as the stakeholder perspective becomes more important. And I think one of the, one of the key takeaways that, that I have from this session is that there's a real willingness of people within the Gulf to think about these issues and to try and plan and adapt for them in the future. And so while many organizations are still focused on finance, making money for their shareholders, how can corporations achieve long-term value now and in the future? I think companies you know, have always been focused on making money for their shareholders, but also it's not just that they've been focused on doing that in the short term. I think really successful companies have been focused both on longer term value as well as short term value. And you know, clearly balancing the two is, is a difficult thing to do. It's a lot harder when you have diverse public stakeholders and shareholders um, where you have a more concentrated shareholding um, as many companies within this region do then perhaps it's a little easier to focus on the long-term aspects and generating value over the longer term. And so thinking more about yourself can you please share with us some examples of how your organization is working towards meeting your ESG goals? Yeah we, we have changed our way in which we provide independent opinions and uh, insights to investors quite dramatically over the last 12 months. We've gone through a process of integrating the display of environmental, social and governance risks separately within our analysis to show companies just how much these aspects influence their credit profiles and how much they are driving businesses um, in terms of credit and ability to repay debt. So for us it's been a very fast and very extensive journey but again it's been aimed towards providing investors with the information that they want when it comes to trying to analyze and decide which companies to invest in.